Let's have a look how to do the perfect mix. This is where a lot of people go wrong starting out first time by using a poor mix and it'll just make your job harder. So we're gonna show you how to do the best mix you can. We've got our clean water, we've got our building sand, we've got our cement, and we've got our most important ingredient, which is our plasticizer or fed mix, which a lot of people call it. This is concentrated plasticizer big thing here is you don't want to put too much in or too little. Too much is too much air in the mix and you've got a weak mix. And too little just won't do it for the mix. So the mix we're going to use is four to one which is four parts sand to one part cement. There's different strengths you can use this one will show you. So when we put this in the mixer now we don't want to put all the sand in and then all the cement in. We want to try and break it up a bit so what we'll do we'll put eight sand in, two cement, then we might add a bit of water and then we'll put the other eight sand in and two cement. And the key is with this is patience. You've got to leave it mixed. If you just try and wet it up all from the start, it's not right. You'll notice as we're mixing, it'll get wetter on its own as it mixes. And there's another key thing here. You don't want to under mix or over mix. So it's just knowing what it should look like and getting out at the right time. So we'll start the mixer up. Obviously most jobs will be either just a small electric mixer. We've got a diesel mixer on this one, so it might not apply to a lot of people, but we'll show you using this one. So how much water in will depend on how wet the sand is, how dry the sand is. So it's not always going to be that nice, but we started with about half a bucket of water there. So we'll make sure we put our feb in first after we put the water in. Okay, all your shovel holes have to be even. So we're looking for something like that here with shovel hole. And we'll chop these in now. Now it's done pretty much all the mixing we wanted to do. We can add the water to get the consistency that we want. 
want to go, we're on Blockwood now, we're on the water, the water makes a bit wetter because it's a warm day, the water's dry. So if you need careful splashes, you want to get this dry. Hold it forward. Right, so you can see with this mix, we had a bit of water in the bottom, that's what that is. As you can see, it's nice and smooth, good consistency, and it's the same all the way through. That'll be lovely to use, that will. So it's just getting used to what you should be using. nice and smooth so it's not been over mixed it's not under mixed it's just right but it's it's a hard thing to get used to it's uh once you're used to it you can put a perfect mix out every time it's just knowing when to add the water in the mix how long for you to mix in for those are the key things